Welcome in. We're so happy to be joined with Sarah Vogel. You may know her from the Clay Cop, maybe some of her amazing um, artistic work that you see on the Sheets Mobile on <laughs> driving by. <laughs> Uh, or her earrings, but today you're going to be talking about a book that you wrote and illustrated. Yes, so I'm going to be talking about The Sock Flock. Um, I wrote and illustrated this book and it officially releases and launches on August 6th at the Clay Cup, so I'm really excited. Okay, this is very exciting because you said that you illustrated books before, but this is the first one you've written. Correct. Okay, yes. tell us about the sock flock. Yeah, so the sock <laughs> flock is just a really fun, like, creative story that rhymes. So it's for younger kids, probably between the age of three and six, really. Um, and it's about these birds that just start landing on her head, and she doesn't know why. And then in the end, they realize they're all wearing socks. So all the birds have socks. The birds. That's so cute. I love that. The birds are based off of birds that we see here in central Pennsylvania. Um, so it's also could be educational as well. Yeah, I love that. I got to see, was that a blue jay or what yes. type of bird? The blue jay is the first one that lands on her head. And then as they continue to land on her, her head, there is a cardinal and a finch and a crow and um, a woodpecker and a chickadee. <laughs> so well, we on don't want to give it all away, Sarah. Uh, so what would you say is the age range that the book is geared towards? Probably three to six. Um, it might be a good book to, as a kid is like just starting to read. There are some bigger words, but it's the, the illustrations are colorful and fun yeah, for that so age. Uh, tell me what inspired you to write the book? <laughs> I think primarily I, well, I woke up with the idea one day and had... Birds the, wearing socks? Yeah. What a dream. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I woke up and I said, the sock flock. <laughs> and then I thought of this character and it just kind of came together. But my grandmothers were both bird watchers and artists. And so I wanted to make these birds something that was kind of nostalgic for me. Yes, and also kind of paying a little bit of tribute to your grandmothers as well. Yes. So can you show us some of your, like, before it reaches the book status? So what are these you're about to show us? So I brought some of the paintings that are in the book, and this is the raw painting straight from my desk, and just a few of my favorite ones. That's this neat. is when the bird first lands on her head, and <laughs> she doesn't know why it landed on her head. What's the main character's name? She doesn't actually have a name because it's all written from the her, third third person, okay. I believe. Uh, first person, I'm not Sarah, sure. Sarah, I actually see a little bit of you with those glasses. The blue glasses. Yes, and the curly hair. <laughs> Maybe. Now, it wasn't really intentional to make self-portrait, but. <laughs> and then just a few others when they start flying in and Here's one from the end of the book when they're all stacked Wait, up on her that head. That is stunning. Can I see that yes. one? Let's get a nice little tight shot on that if we can. Look at that. So Sarah, what are some takeaways that people can, you know, what are kids going to learn from this book? I think that they can learn that just to use your imagination and be creative and hopefully it sparks some ideas in them as well and I hope they enjoy the book. Yes, yeah, so you have a big event coming up. Yes. Tell me about it. It is coming up on August 6th, correct? Correct. So the official book launch and release and book signing is on August 6th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Um, at the Clay Cup and I'll have stickers for sale, stickers Ooh. of each bird. I, I really love your the way you draw and your illustrations. That's Thank like you. very so that's your style. Well, this <laughs> is the first true like character I ever created. Usually I paint realism. So this was out of my comfort zone and I was so excited because when you do something that challenges you and you complete it, then you're like, oh my goodness, I did it. I think that's so cool. So people can come meet you at the Clay Cup on Saturday the 6th. Maybe you'll even autograph some of the books. Yep, if you come that day, I will sign the book. I love it. So, And you also have it in paperback and hardback. Correct. Perfect. Sarah, we love having you on the show. Thank you. You're just an amazing artist and all-around person, and we're going to have to get you in for some other things, too. Well, I appreciate that, and thank you for having me. <laughs>